So what's in here? But why did some species die out? And how did others develop and change? Back in the Natural History Museum, Chris Stringer pointed out that scientists had come up with evolutionary theories before Darwin was even born. Darwin wasn't the first to propose evolution had happened. The idea had been around for a long time. Um, for example, there was a French biologist called Lamarck, and he believed that creatures had changed through time by passing on characteristics that they accentuated during their life. So, for example, if giraffes constantly were stretching their necks to reach vegetation, then that characteristic would be passed on, and the stretched neck would be passed on to the next generation, and that in turn would produce an even more stretched neck. Today we know that Lamarck was basically wrong. Characteristics we acquire in our lifetimes aren't passed on to our children. So that, for example, trees that are bent in the wind don't produce bent saplings. And skinny parents who take up bodybuilding don't produce muscle-bound children. However, at the time, his ideas provided at least an alternative to the biblical view of creation.